Let's open the Terror Prime Weapons Locker. Greetings, Saber Rights! None of us here with a new weapons locker. I have been uh, very remiss in not reviewing this sooner. I've, uh, I've been uh, asked to review it a, a bunch of times. Um, so, here we go with the full weapons locker review of the Saber Z, or Sabers, however you want to pronounce it, Capulus. Um, this is the Obi-Wan inspired hilt episode 2 um, from Saber Z. All of the information will, of course, be in the uh, description, so you can find it for yourself. Um, okay, so, uh, first of all, I have been using this for about a year and a half or so, and I gotta tell you, it is a very dependable saber. Um, it is very ergonomic. Uh, it's a, got a great diameter. It feels very nice in the hand. It's quick, um, but uh, with the even with the with the this and this is with the Saber Z blade that they that came with it. So it is the original, which you get in the package. Um, there, um, as you can see, it um, is the, the the pommel and the emitter are very Obi Wan esque. Everything in the middle, not so much. So if you're looking for an exact cannon hilt, this will need some work. Um, but the way the Saber Z system works is that this piece is a separate module. So you can buy modules all together and they will have the LED, the switches, the battery, sound card, or no sound card, whatever have you. Um, if you don't get it <clears throat> that way, um, all right in there, and then you can, you know, mix and match the uh, pommel and the emitters, uh, however you want it. Um, the Capulus is is just sold, you know, as, as one piece um, with this emitter and this pommel. Now this pommel is you know popular um, because it looks really great but it really feels like hell. Um, if you're using this in any sort of stage or uh, combat way with two hands and you're grabbing down by the pommel, these little, these little things are horrible. <clears throat> I think that's well known though with this style of uh, pommel um, and that is of course the problem. If you notice, I believe <laughs> Hugh McGregor is always holding it like this so it never really bugged him. Uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe it did bug him, and it was just had to be made of foam or something. Um, anyway, um, this one right here is got a prism in it. Um, I'm not particularly. I don't not know which fonts it has in there, um, but uh, I believe they are pretty standard. Um, Plector Labs fonts. Um, there. So why don't I fire this up here? There you go. Now I got it on purple, <clears throat> um, and this can be sh very nice. This this can be changed on the fly if you've got a prism. Any prism will do this, but um, I can change the colors here as much as I like. There we go. And we get to a more Obi-Wan-ish kind of blue. Okay, so all the features of the Prism, three sound fonts, three sound banks. Um, it's nice and loud, um, especially with this panel on here. Um, I also have the, I think it was the Apollyon pommel here, which will shorten the length of this saber considerably. Um, but it still retains its balance, and it's still very, very nice, and actually I kind of prefer it that way because this pommel, eh, while it looks nice, it's, it's very good. Uh, it isn't very good, I should say. Um, so anyway. <clears throat> okay, so standard features with the Prism. Um, Prism's been around a while, so I'm pretty sure 
uh, people know where to get information on that. If you don't, you can go to Saber Z, their website, or you can go to a uh, custom Saber shop. They sell them there. Um, ask around on forums, that kind of thing. Um, the Prism is a, I like the, I like the board. I have it in um, a couple of Sabres, so highly recommend that. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, continuing this, uh, other than the pommel, the rest of the hilt is very nice and wieldable, um, very comfortable in the hand. Um, it is, the retention screws are larger, um, and all of the retention screws on here, I believe, are metric, um, but you do get a metric kit of um, Allen keys with it. Um, so they have bigger retention screws, which is good, and they actually have two of them. I took this one out because when you have both of them in there, mine were a little long, so they stuck out, and that was the one thing on the saber that was kind of catching on the hand. So I took one of them out. Um, it's still very, very solid, all that. Um, the emitter screws off. The pommel, and this is underneath this uh, Kovatek wheel, um, is held on with a uh, retention screw. Um, <clears throat> so everything's on very, very nice and tight. Um, good tolerances, bashed the living crap out of this thing um, more times than, than not. Um, it's been in classes, it's been to Comic Cons, it's been dropped and tossed and all kinds of things. And it's still, I mean, you can see it, it's not even, there's a couple of little scuffs there. I don't, I doubt that any of those are going to really show up on camera. Um, because they're so small. So there we go. So um, you've already seen this in action a whole lot. I'll throw some um, other, s some uh, more footage up there to show it to you in action. Um, the only one complaint, um, the limiting factor in the uh, in their product, in the Saber Z product, is the price point. It's a tad high for a modular type of thing. So uh, the, the initial buy-in is, 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 is in the upper, upper uh, mid-range. So a lot of people, when looking at uh, the Saber Z, or the Sabres, or again, whatever you want to call it, um, will be like, well, I can get a Vader's Vault for that amount of money with maybe a better sound card and all that. And that may be true, um, but really... Um, if you're looking for something that's a, just a really, really good, solid saber, this is an excellent saber. Now, also, this is a good feature here, too. Um, if you take off these retention screws here, this whole plate pops up so you can access everything in the saber to do any repairs, um, switches, um, uh, recharge ports, um, any, any of that stuff that goes wrong. In, in the course of, of the life of the Sabre, you can simply open up and fix. Um, they do have a warranty as well, and I got, um, I had some warranty work done on uh, one of the switches, which was defective, but um, very, very quick, so no problems there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so uh, we will uh, go check, check it out in use. Um, other than that, uh, check out the information in the description. Go, uh, go visit their website. Um, I will uh, see you later with a, uh, another weapons locker probably, probably pretty soon. I've got lots of sabers that I have um, lined up to review. Um, so until then, have a great day. Happy sabers.